helps in the sustainability effort. Now the time okay, okay. Well, when it comes to the issue of hold on. When it comes to the issue of diversity, certainly intercultural exchange is something that BMW Group as a company strives for. At the same time, even at the Munich headquarters, you have dozens of nations, uh, nationalities working together side by side, hand in hand. So it's clear that for a company that positions itself internationally, diversity is a major issue, but also a, a something that you know, you're confronted with each and every day. Um, so that's a good aspect of globalization in terms of coming from a, a company that this is already basically incorporated in the very structure. Um, when it comes to cultural engagement, um, of course it is key that we pay attention to what is going on in the various regions that we do business in. It's, at headquarters we define the strategy and the coordinates in which cultural engagement is possible, but of course when it comes to festivals from Kuala Lumpur to Mexico City, it's our colleagues on the ground and it's them engaging with cultural institutions that know far better than anyone what is going on and what is important and what isn't and where should we throw our weight behind to make a format possible or to, to create a, um, a joint program, certainly never one-off events that we are not interested in but engage in long-term partnerships all over the globe. This uh, current BMW Women in Black, uh, we are doing this in nine different cities. And so, uh, you will get a lot of solutions, mm -hmm. challenges, and solutions. Mm -hmm. So, what is BMW's commitment post the Mumbai event or the Berlin event? When it comes to the BMW Guggenheim Lab, it's certainly our most ambitious cultural program ever initiated as a partnership together with a major museum that is also set up worldwide. Um, the BMW Guggenheim Lab started uh, in New York, uh, traveled to Berlin, and has taken place in Mumbai uh, at the end of 2012. When we look at what is being achieved there, if we look at tangible results, we have to realize that the lab itself is a process. Um, it's set up for many, many cities to come for a longer period of time, and the thought of the lab actually says that you know you need to take your time. It's not about um, communicating or boasting with ideas that you know are being set into action and realized right away. It's a multidisciplinary platform that offers an open-ended dialogue among specialists and among those that are just interested in the programming and want to participate. It's certainly about engagement and about empowerment. It's not about just coming and listening, but it's about participating. And um, there are many ideas that have come out of the lab. Um, the Guggenheim curators have come up with a glossary of 100 ideas for urban living, of which electromobility is only one aspect. And there are so many others um, when it comes to improving our lives in the city and tackling the challenges that lie ahead for all of us together. We take a holistic approach there, with that, which I think is crucial that we don't only look at it from one angle on the side of engineering, design or architecture, but that we bring all of these aspects together um, with a great program where those that know the most in their field um, are in charge of creating a cost-free um, format and programming that really engages the people on the site. Um, what is crucial is that it's not only about the lab itself and its physical realization, but that there are hundreds of thousands of visitors online who participate actively in games, in initiatives, uh, in ideas, um, and come, try to come up with, with the right solution. So um, the lab itself as a physical space is one thing, but the in international um, uh, the, the, the international impact um, is multiplied um, by online devices and social networking.